Sport is full of drama, iconic moments. We think of Nadia Comaneci's perfect 10 at the 1976 Olympics, Arsenal's 2003-04 invincible season. But what is the best one-off thing you can do in sport? Let's go and find out. This is the pursuit of sporting perfection. Southport's Royal Birkdale Golf Club is getting ready to host some of the world's best golfers this summer for the Open Championship. Rubbing shoulders with the game's elite is a local boy, the Wirral's Paul Waring, who qualified for the tournament earlier this month. Our reporter Joseph Richardson went to meet him. 2017 could become a memorable year for Wirral golfer Paul Waring. It will see him playing golf's most prestigious tournament, the Open Championship, in July. His second place finish at last month's Johannesburg Open secured his place there. In fact, he came this close to his maiden pro title. Oh. Just again, a fraction too much pace. What a gallant effort. Obviously, really, really happy with it. Um, I feel like I've changed. Uh, well, I turned a corner really with, uh, with certain weaknesses in my game, um, especially the putting. Um, put a new uh, Kramski putter in um, and that's really helped me uh, with that element of my game as well so I feel like I'm able to score a bit better which obviously showed in um, in my results uh, two weeks ago. It's an exciting time for the 32 year old as he practices hard for the rest of the season. This is a rare period on English shores for wearing. His next tournament is in Morocco next month but whatever he does this year it won't be on par with his week at the Open where he'll be aiming to do the Northwest Proud. Joseph Richardson, Northwest Sports, Bromborough. Skelmersdale United have secured their immediate future by agreeing to a ground share with Prescott Cables for next season. An ongoing dispute between the club and their landlord, Checker Properties, means United's current stadium lease is due to run out in November. Our reporter, Joseph Richardson, has been to investigate. It's been a roller coaster time for Skelmersdale United fans. On the pitch, they've watched their club get relegated out of the Evo Stick Premier and off it, the board have been frantically trying to preserve the club's long-term future. Their landlord, Checker Properties, have refused to sign an extension on the lease of their ground. Uh, the, the ground Chairman the ground, Paul the Griffiths here, how, explains how the implication of you know, this what, news. What it's paramount, really, for us that the club survives. Uh, so we will have to take drastic measures for the club to survive. It, in putting plan B into operation, it will cost this club a significant amount of money. And that plan B involves non-league neighbours Prescott Cables, who have offered to ground share with Skelmersdale for next season. I'm made up, you know, I mean, it's the football family, isn't it? It's a non-league family, you know, that Prescott have come and, and said, well, yeah, we can help, you know, and again, you know, it's five years of Prescott, so I know the people there as well, I know what sort of people they are. Skelmersdale's future may still be up in arms, but the clouds over Stormy Corner could yet clear and form a brighter future. Joseph Richardson, Northwest Sports, Skelmersdale.